All right, guys, we are going to talk a little bit about this Benchmade Meat Crafter number three. Um, <laughs> I don't know, guys. This, <clears throat> this is basically the exact same as number two, which was very similar to number one. So maybe it's me... But has Benchmade gotten boring with their new offerings this year? Maybe the last couple of years. Um, so, yeah, I'm a little bit confused by this, right? So I'm, I'm fine with a knife that is for, you know, kind of specifically for butchering meats and things like that, right? I'm, I'm good with that. But the version one, I've done videos on the others and I'll link my Benchmade playlist up above. Um, all the sizes and specs and all that are basically exactly the same. So I'm not going to go through all that here. But the Meat Crafter original was out of a different blade steel. It was CPM 154 and it was $170 or it, it currently is $170. And then they went to Meat Crafter 2, which upped the game to S45 VN, coated orange, with carbon fiber scales. And the price went from 170 to 400 So then this year they come out with a Meat Crafter 3, which is also S45. They downgraded, they changed the handle material to G10. So to me, that's a little bit of a downgrade from carbon fiber. And they got rid of the orange coating of the blade. And this is 350. It just seems generic to me, and it kind of seems boring to come out with the same exact knife in a slightly different configuration. Now, there's nothing necessarily wrong with this knife it's a nice kind of blasted finish stone washed finish if you will the g10 is nice it's fit and finished fairly well it has the orange ring around the lanyard tube to kind of tie it in with the orange sheath and i'm okay with that so all in all it's built really nice, and I'm, I'm good with that. But do we need to keep coming out with the same knife over and over with some slight variations? I don't know. It kind of makes me think about, and we'll go off the, <laughs> stick with me. We'll go off the rails a little bit. Like, they remade this knife, and hey, it's a new offering this year. It's kind of what Hollywood's doing. I mean, we're remaking movies. Or we're just 30 years later making Top Gun Maverick. We're working on Beverly Hills Cop 4 now. Now, some of the other movies that have been series, you know, John Wick, one, two, three, and working on four. Like, I'm good with that because those movies didn't fall by the wayside. Don't get me wrong. I love Axel Foley and Beryl Hills Cop is awesome. But it's been what? 20 plus years? And now we're going to make a number four? We're going to remake, you know, Ghostbusters with, with the chicks now. Like, I just, have we all lost originality? I get it. A knife is... Is kind of a knife. They're all very similar, and it's hard to be maybe ingenuitive with a knife, unless you're Jason over at VC Edge and came out with something incredibly out there that nobody else was doing. So, yeah, you, that's going to be kind of few and far between, where you come out with some radical shapes using exotic materials and things like that. Sure. But 
you know, even Benchmade came out with the the mini bug out <clears throat> in carbon fiber. Do they have to come out with a bug out and a mini bug out every year with just different materials? I don't know. They came out with the Redoubt. I just did a video on those two in that $160, $180 range. Uh, yeah. Did we need that knife on the market? Probably not. I'm just looking for some originality, I guess. And to to get a number three and it be basically the exact same in different materials is just kind of a, a, a letdown, if you will. Um, I think this is probably a very cool knife. I don't do a lot of the meat cutting whatnot. So it does have a very flexible blade for, you know, doing the work that you need to do for that. So again, there's nothing wrong with this knife. This is probably an improvement over number two, because number two had that orange blade, which was just kind of like, why? I did like the carbon fiber on the scales of number two. Um, I don't know, guys, what do you think? Have knife companies gotten boring kind of went on a little rant here with the Hollywood and the movies and just kind of life being over and over and nothing really new um so you know yeah some knife makers have done some stuff VC Edge came out with a brand new product that nobody had ever seen before like that's that's cool Demco came out with the shark lock that's cool and innovative. Uh, and then now they're coming out with their titanium AD 20.5s, which in my opinion is what they should have come out with in the first place. I still think they're, you know, at 350 ish might be on the high side, but okay. And I've got a couple of AD 20.5s in titanium in that I got a film still. So you'll get a closer look at those as well. Again, cause I've done some videos on those before, but I don't know. I just think that, you know, when you're going to offer just remakes of last year's offerings, maybe just skip it. Take the year off and come out with something innovative and different next year if all you got this year is remakes of last year. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts, guys. I would love to hear your opinion. And I will link the playlist for my Benchmade, well, my Benchmade playlist up here in the corner. So go check it out. There's a whole bunch of videos. I've done a ton of Benchmades. Thanks a lot, guys.